Hi, lovely people. Well, turkeys said hi also. So today I am decided to go out and harvest usnea. And a lot of it is on the ground because of the rain and the wind and the storm that passed through. And that is the best time to harvest it. So I decided to take you with me. Now, Usnea is part of the fungus family. It is also called old man's beard, beard moss, and a few other things. It lives in the tree. However, you do not want to climb the tree and harvest it. You want to wait till it falls because it will be everywhere, trust me. And then you want to harvest it. Some people burn it because... In the beginning, like four years ago, I didn't know no better, and we were burning it too until I learned about the medicina of the old man's beard. Old man's beard, the way you know it, what it's supposed to be is it has a like vein or cord in the middle of it. It's very textury, is greenish, grayish, and when you start pulling the the little cord like i'm trying to do here with one hand it will bounce back like a elastic cord and it will be white in color and that's how you know you have usnea now back in the day in the wars they would take the longer ones that fall from the trees and they would wrap themselves if they had a wound like a bandage and they also stuck it in the wound also to stop bleeding now i grind it in a powder i dry it in a dehydrator for wounds and it's also in my first aid kit you can also make tinctures with it and with alcohol you can also do vinegar you can also boil it too as well to make medicine it helps with respiratory pain fever kidney problems and the list goes on and on and on on the next couple videos i'll show you what stuff you can make with it and what you need to make different medication with the usnea i hope you like this video i hope you learned something and let me know if you've ever made it have a great day Bye bye